Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to get your data out of Trimble Business Center in a format that you can import into StarNet, and then in a, a couple later videos in this series, I'll show you how to actually run an adjustment on that data in StarNet. So, the very first thing you're going to need to get your total station data out of StarNet is you're going to need uh, what they call a style sheet, XML style sheet or an XSL file. So if you just Google Trimble style sheets, this should be the first link this page that you come come to survey style sheets. And then the one we want is actually down here uh, in the T's. It's called the Traverse uh, format, Traverse format StarNet. So you want to click on that link and that should download you this XSL file in a, in a zip file. There's a lot of other things you can do with these style sheets. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but uh, there's some other cool stuff on uh, cool stuff on this page if you have time to explore it a little bit. Okay, so we've downloaded our style sheet. Uh, let me pull up the... Trimble Business Center project that we're going to use. So in this project, just some test data we ran outside of our office here. I have some RTN baselines. And we have some total station vectors here. And we're going to go ahead and process this data as a single network in StarNet, including the RTN vectors. And as far as I know, there isn't a good way to do that in Trimble Business Center. So you can run a Traverse adjustment in Trimble Business Center, and you can run a least squares adjustment with static baselines, but there isn't a good way to run a least squares adjustment with a mix of data types like this. So that's why we're going to move the data over to StarNet. So the first thing we want to do is we want to export our total station vectors. So to do that, we're going to come over here to... Reports. Now you may not have this option on your ribbon. You may have to add it to the ribbon. You just right click and go to customize the ribbon and then find this command. It's called job report generator. So when I hit that button, it pulls up this dialog. And the first thing I need to do is select the job file that contains that data. So we're going to go find that. So that's this JXL file I have here. So you're looking for a .jxl or a .job. That's what comes out of most Trimble, newer Trimble data collectors. So we're going to open that. Okay, and then it says, what style sheet do you want to use right here? And it actually even gives you a link to the website. So we're going to say, all right, let's go get our style sheet. That was in that zip file that we downloaded. Uh, I already, uh, I've already extracted that. So here's the style sheet. You can see it has that XSL extension. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And then it's asking me, where do you want to put your data? I'm just going to accept the default there and save in that same folder. Then you hit apply. I've already done this, so it's saying, do you want to replace the file? No. So pretty simple. That's how you get your total station data out. And it's going to give you a file that looks like this .dat so I'm going to edit that with notepad++ here just so you can see what it looks like okay and we're going to go in and later make some changes to this file now the GPS data is a little easier so what we're going to do for that is we're going to uh, We're going to select the base station and the GPS vectors. And we're going to go to our export. So Trimble has a built-in file exporter that can get GPS data out to StarNet. It does not work for total station data that I'm aware of. But it's this, if you go to your survey tab down towards the bottom, there's this Trimble data exchange format TDEF. And it's just an ASCII format. So browse to where you want that to store with this button here. 
and then you just hit, hit export and I've already done that. Okay, so that's going to give you this other text file. I'll pull it over here and show you guys. It's got this ASCII format. And we can edit that with Notepad Pad, Notepad Plus Plus. And you can see it's got our GPS vectors here. Okay. It does export the total station vectors, but StarNet doesn't recognize them on, on import. Okay, so now we're going to take this ASCII file and this DAT file, and we're going to do a little bit of cleanup to get another DAT file uh, that looks the way we want in TBC. We're actually not going to mess with the GPS vectors at all, but we are going to do some tweaking to the, uh, to the total station data, the .dat file before we import into StarNet.